Tributes continue to arrive at a memorial in central Moscow to the founders of Russia's Wagner Group on Saturday. But while flowers were being laid here for Yevgeny Prigozhin and Dmitry Utkin, inside the nearby Kremlin, President Vladimir Putin was moving to bring their private military contractor and other groups like it under tighter state control. Putin signed a decree on Friday ordering Wagner fighters to swear an oath of allegiance to the Russian state. The decree, published on the Kremlin website, obliges anyone carrying out work on behalf of the military or supporting what Moscow calls a special military operation in Ukraine to sign a formal oath of allegiance. That, it says, is a step to forge the spiritual and moral foundations of the defense of Russia. The mandatory oath comes after the Kremlin described Western suggestions that Prigozhin was killed on its orders as an absolute lie. Russia's aviation authority has said Prigozhin was on board a private jet that crashed on Wednesday evening north of Moscow, with no survivors. The incident took place exactly two months after Prigozhin led a failed mutiny against army chiefs. Western politicians and commentators have suggested, without presenting evidence, that Putin ordered Prigozhin to be killed as punishment. On Thursday, Putin sent his condolences to the families of those killed and spoke of Prigozhin in the past tense. Russian investigators have opened a probe into what happened but have not yet said what they suspect caused the plane to suddenly fall from the sky. They have also not officially confirmed the identities of the ten bodies recovered from the wreckage.